This is Prince Stanley coming to you today with 100,000 watts of pure love. I want to talk to you today about how to be a leader. Joshua was Moses' chief aide and military leader. He became Israel's leader after Moses' death. Joshua led the people across the Jordan and into the Promised Land. Seven nations were destroyed in the land. After the conquest of the land by the children of Israel, the land was divided among the tribes of Israel. There were tremendous miracles in Joshua's day. The crossing of the Jordan, the fall of Jericho, the sun standing still. Note, all of these miracles had to do with getting God's people into the land and driving out the enemy. They were involved in God's plan and purpose to reach the world for God. And we're involved in God's plan and purpose to reach the world for Messiah, Yeshua. If you are involved in God's plan and purpose to reach the world for Christ, God will do great miracles for and through you. Remember, the key of the Old Testament is this. It's a record of a nation designed to bring forth a man, the Messiah of God. The key of the New Testament is a record of a man, the Messiah of God, designed to bring forth a nation, the people of God. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Your job is the same as Joshua's, to go into new territory and conquer for the Lord, to destroy the works of the devil, and then to divide the land, the inheritance, among God's people. You might ask, well, how do I divide the land among God's people? Here's your answer. It's by teaching them their authority in Christ, who they are in Christ, what they have in Christ, and by teaching them how you conquered and sharing the blessings you've received so that they will know how to conquer, how to win. I heard a man on the radio the other day telling people how the Holy Spirit prays for them. He was actually uh, teaching from Romans chapter 8, but he never did tell them how to let the Holy Spirit do that. He told them about the Holy Spirit will pray through you, but he didn't tell the people how to let the Holy Spirit pray through you, how to pray in tongues, in the language of the Holy Spirit, so that the power of God can intercede with groanings that cannot be uttered and pray in the will of God for things you don't even know about. When you pray in the Spirit, not in your natural language, but in the language of tongues, in the language of the Spirit, you're praying according to the will of God. God knows what you're praying about. Your mind is unfruitful, as the Apostle Paul says. You don't understand it, but God understands it. And so people need to know how to go in and conquer the land, how to use the tools Christ has given them, how to take their authority in the Messiah, Yeshua, and then how to conquer the land for the Lord, and then how to divide the land among God's people, how to teach others how to go in, and how to become successful, how to win. Let me give you a thought. Do you have your orders from God like Moses and Joshua? Are you operating in the perfect center of God's will for your life? If not, pray. Ask God to show you his plan for your life. You might want to spend some time fasting and time alone with God. Spend time alone with God daily in your prayer closet, a regular place where you can meet with him. If your plan fits into God's plan, you will have God's faith, and God's faith always works. Let me repeat that. If your plan fits into God's plan, you will have God's faith, and God's faith always works.
By the way, let's talk about your personal life for a minute. Are you telling people about Jesus? If you're a girl and you have a boyfriend and you really love him, you're going to be telling people about him. Or if you're a boy and you have a girlfriend, you're going to be telling people about your girlfriend. The same way it is when you're married. You're going to be telling people about that person you love. So if you're not talking to people and telling them about Jesus, something's wrong in your life. Double check. I'm not here to condemn you. I'm trying to help you, trying to give you some advice. Double check. Remember, pray and ask God to give you that first love of new. That first love, like when you first came to Christ and you were talking to people about Jesus. Secondly, live holy. It would be like a person being married and being unfaithful. Or if you were unfaithful to your girlfriend or to your boyfriend, if you're a girl, live holy. Please God. You know, we can preach the gospel and we can pray and we can fast and we can give money and we can give our time and service. But if we're not living holy, we're not being true and faithful to our Lord. Be holy, because if you want to be used in spatial works by God and want to be an extreme leader, you need to live holy so that God can set you apart and sanctify you for great extreme works in the earth. To lead a great body of people, you need to seek God's advice and follow it. Moses led over three million people through the wilderness. You can multiply the male census uh, by, at that time, 603,550 males, and multiply that by two, allowing each man a wife. That would give you about a million two hundred thousand people. And then figure approximately a minimum of three children for every family. So that'd be three times 600,000 or another million eight hundred thousand. So Moses led at least three million people through the wilderness. And whenever a major problem arose, he prayed, he talked to God about it before he took action. Learn to pray before you take action. The old saying, engage your brain before your mouth. Well, engage your prayers before you do anything. One time that Moses acted foolishly when he did not take God's advice cost him earthly blessings. He became angry so that he hit the rock instead of speaking to it. Forty years before, God had told him to hit the rock and water would come out for the people to drink. However, near the end of the wilderness wanderings, when the people were complaining over thirst again, God told him only to speak to the rock and water would come out. But Moses became angry, and even though the fault was with the people he was leading, the Bible says Moses spoke unadvisedly with his lips. He called them a bunch of rebels. You can read about that in Exodus chapter 17, verses 1 through 7, also in Numbers chapter 20, verses 1 through 13, and in Psalm 106, verses 32 to 33. Make sure your plan fits into God's plan. Seek God's advice and follow it. Teach people their authority in Christ and divide the land among God's people. And if your plan fits into God's plan, you will have God's faith and God's faith always works. The miracles of God are aimed at you from every direction, my brothers and sisters. Obey God and let the power of the Lord invade the earth through you. If you want to write us, you can write to P.O. Box A, that's A as in Alpha, Downey, D-O-W-N-E-Y, California 90241, USA. Don't give in and don't give up. If you don't quit, you'll win. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. With God, all things are possible. Remember to tell your friends about the Apostle Talk podcast. If you have comments or need help, email me at princehandley at gmail.com. The miracles of God are aimed at you from every direction. This is Apostle Talk, and this is Prince Handley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure love.